Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christine. I like to read dark and disturbing things and then talk about them with you guys. So today we have a May TBR. <laughs> but I cannot believe it is already May. I don't know where this year has gone, but here we are. If you guys follow my channel, you probably know that April has been filled with all kinds of old school type reads, and I am kind of in the mood to mood read a little bit more, but what did I do? Well, I signed up for another readathon. I signed up for Escape the Readathon, which I found out about through Lexi's channel over at Books with Lexi, so I will link her down below as well as anyone else that I mentioned in this video because there are a few readathons going on and I just want to spread the word in case you are interested in joining in. So this is my first time doing Escape the Readathon and I am on Kitty and Kelsey's team which is Team Film Crew. I feel like I have to say it like that. I think Kelsey says it like that. but. Um, what it is, is you're working as a team with other readers to make your way through different buildings on a map to escape each room, I suppose, or each building and make it to the next one. I think it's a little more complicated than that, but that's all I know going in. And a lot of the prompts are very general. So I think I will be able to more or less mood read throughout kind of picking some books ahead of time or having books set for each individual prompt i think i'll be able to make it work so i'm not going to stress about that there was one prompt though where you had to put a poll out and have other readers pick your book so what i did was i took from my spinner wheel that i have not been following for the last two months and i chose a few of those off of there and had people pick and the winner of that one I think I put four choices up there, but the one that won was Gideon the Ninth, which I said I was going to read before, did I know? But it is on my 12 to read in 12. So far, I've only read two books off of that this month or this year, and I need to catch up a little bit. So I am really interested in this. This is, all I know is that it is a dark fantasy book, and I think it's going to be something I'm into. So I'm excited to get to that. I suppose I could spin the wheel one more time and see what I get to kind of make up for other months. Let me go grab it. All right, here is my handy dandy wheel. It'll be kind of funny if I get Gideon the Ninth because I didn't erase that off of here yet, but here we go. So, why did I try to talk over that? This is my 12 to read in 12 months. And it came up with the Once and Future Witches. I feel like I keep putting this book off. <laughs> um, it's kind of a chonker, and but I do want to read it because it is about witches and it's been on my shelf forever. So if I have time, that will be the next one that I get to after getting the ninth. The next readathon that's going on is Horror Mayhem, which is, I believe, was started by the bookish Bryants. The way that I found out about this readathon was through Mindy over at Mindy's Book Journey. And it is focused on horror literature, which I already love. And from what I gather, it's focusing on shorter works of um, like more novellas or under 300 pages, which um, I like to hear that. So I did pick out one shorter book that I've been wanting to get to for a while. And I think that several others that I kind of have in my pile over here will also fit this theme. So a lot of this reading will be crossing over from different readathons. But the one that I've had for a while and I haven't read, and it is relatively short, it is under 200 pages, is The Vessel by Adam Neville. I've also never read anything by Adam Neville yet. And I have a couple of his books at this point from um, Nightworms. So this one I got first and it's shorter. I'm going to give this one a read. I've heard nothing but good things and this cover is freaking <laughs> creepy as hell and amazing. All I know is that it's about an older woman that maybe needs help as she's gotten older and creepy things start happening. I like to go in relatively blind so I'm going to keep it at that. 
The next readathon that is going on, and the last one that I'm aware of anyway, is the Zombie Thon. This is been started and held by Cat over at Cat's Novel Adventures. If you're not sub to any of these guys that I'm mentioning, please, their links are down below. Please click and uh, sub to their channels because they all have amazing book channels and it's fun to kind of see what different people are reading. It helps introduce us to new books and new authors and new genres. So, so hers is all about zombies. And I was looking through what I have because I'm trying to read what I own still. And I have a couple choices here. One is that my son has the last kids on earth, like whole set of books. Yes, I know they're middle grade, um, but I heard they're very good. He likes them and I've heard from other adults that they're very good. So I will probably read one or a couple of those. The other book that I have um, is Stephen King's The Cell, but this is also an audio. So I'm trying to kind of plan out a couple audiobooks that I can listen to as well as physically read and that will probably be one of them. Um, my copy is not in the best condition and uh, I don't know I would rather probably listen to it so I'm going to give that a shot. And then of course we have our layman pick. I neglected the rump last month in April because I was so busy with old school April and even though it would fit the theme I just had other things that I really wanted to read more. So I didn't read Body Rides by Richard Lehman in April. I have that to make up. And then this month is Come Out Tonight for May. And this is a used copy, but this one's in very good condition. But this one is also on Everand, so I might listen to it. I find that the ones that I physically read, I kind of enjoyed. A little bit more than listening um, only because sometimes the characters annoy me and I like to like give them my own voice in my head if that makes sense this one has a very um, <laughs> vague premise on the back it's basically about this uh, woman named Sherry and a guy named Dwayne that are about to get it on for the first time and he doesn't have any condoms so he runs to the store to get some condoms and while he's gone he's starting to take a long time and Sherry's starting to get worried and then she hears a sound that she thinks was a gunshot. Kind of looks like she ends up going out to explore and doesn't know what is out there waiting for her. Kind of reminds me of the first one we read this year which was or the first one I read this year which was Endless Night where that was more of a home invasion thing but it was just kind of like going out into the night and not knowing the terrors that await you in this like normal neighborhood. And that's kind of what this sounds like to me, but I guess we will find out. There are a, a few book clubs too that I have not really been following. This whole April has just been like not really following anything, but uh, Katrina from Katrina Brown's um, channel, her book club pick, um, and I hope I don't say this wrong, but is Ling Hoon by Ai Jiang. Um, I've had this one on my Everand TBR for a while. It's still there, so I'm going to listen to this one. And this is, looks like it's about a town where the dead live as spirits because the town's grief is kind of keeping them there. And that's all I know. Some kind of ghost slash spirit story. And I've heard good things about this book, but I don't know too much more about it. So I'm excited to read that. Amy over at Amy Noel's, um, for Amy Noel's book club. I can't, I can talk, I can talk. Um, her book club pick is The Reapers Are the Angels. And this one, I, I can't find for free, I should say. It is on Everand as a book, but not as audio. And I don't have an iPad, so... I don't want to try to read that on my phone. That would hurt my eyes. And my library doesn't have it. But it is a zombie book, so it would also count towards Cat's Zombiethon. Um, if I can find a copy, or maybe I will get it on Audible, we'll see how I'm going, because I do want to leave some room for, book, for um, mood reading. I think that would be a great pick. I usually kind of vibe with Amy's picks, and I, I mean, it would... 
also fit the zombie readathon, which I feel like I haven't read very many zombie books. So it would be cool if I could get to that one. All right, on to other things that I've had that aren't related to any book club or readathon or anything. I currently have two library books out and one of them, I guess I lied, it was a book club pick a few months ago for Kelsey's book club. I didn't get to it. I had it on hold for my library. It took a while to get to me and the author was nice enough to send me a copy of this digitally but it was a PDF and it could just be me that I don't know how to read that on my Kindle. So this is Neil Sharpson's Knock Knock Open Wide. I have heard great things about this. I heard that Lexi um, from Books with Lexi absolutely loved this and it's actually due back on Monday in a few days. So I will probably try to knock this one out. <laughs> knock. I will try to get this one read first, most likely. Um, I feel bad that I didn't read it back in March, but you know, time. And the other book I got from the library, I believe it was on Michaela's channel. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. She talks a lot about keeping books that on her shelf that she wants to have in her collection. So she's very focused on reading her books down, like her physical TBR down to zero and only keeping books that she's read and knows that she wants in her home library. And this book is about consumerism and maybe kind of breaking that chain of feeling that you need to buy everything. Um, I mean, not no shame to anyone that does it. I absolutely do it. I have been part of that um, life for quite some time as a way, I think, to blow off steam. Um, I don't have a lot of vices, but buying things is definitely one of them. But if I could maybe think about things in a little bit different way and make more informed decisions and intentional purposes, I would feel better about myself. I would feel better about how I'm living in this planet. And um, yeah, I think it's just a lifestyle thing, especially where I live and maybe because I didn't have that when I was younger, but I would like to rein it in a little bit. So that is Fixation by Sandra Goldmark. And this one is fairly short. It's about 200 pages. So I'd like, you know, I don't read nonfiction very often, like ever. So hopefully I can get to that one. I also have two ARCs that I have shown before and I feel super guilty because these are physical ARCs that were sent to me and I do take that very seriously. I, um, I feel guilty that I haven't read them yet and I do want to read them. I just keep getting caught up in lots of book clubs and things like that. But this one is The Final Women by Pardeep. I was, uh, I'm just going to show you because I don't want to um, mess that up. But look at this blood on the knife making that. I really want to read this and I really want to read this other one is They Are Cursed Like You, Trailer Park Witches, book one. I know I've talked about them before, but it's been a few months and I have not forgotten about them. I promise. I have not. They keep sitting on my book cart and they're waiting for me. So I really hope to get these in this month so I can stop carrying them forward and finally read them and write a review like I said I would. And the last book I physically have here that I want to get to because I feel like this is the last month of spring, right? May. And then we'll start, I start thinking of June, July, August, the summer months. And I think this would be the perfect spring read. It's been on my shelf a little bit. And this is Farrah, Farrah Fawcett. This is Heather Fawcett's Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. And I have this really pretty fairy loot edition. And I've heard people say nothing but great things about this so much that going back to that consumerism thing, I recently put in an order to the UK to get a couple books that had um, either covers or books that I couldn't get here. And I had seen that the sequel to this in the UK has a much more gorgeous cover than the US version. And even though it's not like a fancy version like that, I felt like it fit better. Um, 
yeah so hopefully I like it because I have the sequel as well anyway I thought this would be a great seasonal read and lastly I have I have the last book finally came in of the Indian Lake trilogy by Stephen Graham Jones um, that is the My Heart is a Chainsaw series. Of course, I want to read the finale, but I also want to drag this out as long as humanly possible because I freaking love that series. I want to reread the first two books. So if I can get My Heart is a Chainsaw in there in this month, I would love that. Would be one step closer to getting through to the final book and saying goodbye to Jade Daniels. Um, not ready. But then I got approved for an arc that I'm so happy about that I'm sure I will absolutely push to the top of this list. And that was, I was a teenage slasher. I was a teenage slasher by Stephen Graham Jones. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this. I have already pre-ordered this book, but being approved for the arc, that's just gonna push Jade Daniels a little bit further back so I can savor that moment because I'm a weirdo. All right, I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but these are the books that I'm hoping to pick from this month. I will probably mood read and pick some other books that I didn't mention in there because that's just how my brain works sometimes. And I am coming off like a fairly strict TBR that I had for myself. Um, so I would like to get some mood reading in there and just kind of go with the flow. You know what I mean? So I would also like to hear what book you are most excited to read in the month of May. Are you participating in any of these readathons that I mentioned? Even if it is, you know, sometimes the readathons can be a little bit overwhelming, but something like Horror Mayhem or Zombiethon, you could read one zombie book and just be part of that readathon without, you know, having to follow all of the prompts. You don't have to do all of the things because there's no way we could always do all the things. It's sometimes fun just to, you know, pick and choose a book here, a book from this readathon, a book for that readathon. And yeah, it's all in good fun. So comment down below. Let me know what you are excited to read this month. And if you have nothing to say, but you just want to say hi, I'll leave me a little zombie emoji down below for Cat's readathon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And have a great reading month in May. Of course, stay spooky.